now serves Zhang. A little dink early on. And a chance for Rodriguez to put something on the board, which she takes. Nice down the line from Alina Rodriguez, who's really impressed over the course of this competition. And she is lurking on that left-hand side, just threads that down the line. Argentina beating China, that's all we can say at the moment. And they'll have a chance of putting a second point on the board here. Although Fresco gets blocked out of it. She'll have another go. Xu Ting's in the backcourt. Zhang is blocked. Strong start this from Argentina, but they're blocked again. But it drops out. They ground that one out. Agnes Michel Tozzi driving through. And putting too much heat on that for the block. Well, I think if Argentina could stop this match right here, they would. They're beating the might of China. Mayer carries on serving. Zhang puts China on the board side out. Fresco had all the time in the world to load up on that one. No matter how good your blockers are, when you can get as much time to get set as this, you're probably going to find a winner. And the Chinese blocking scheme is outstanding. And that's been sent a bit too deep from Gong. But uh, I think Gong is going to say, you know what? Let's have a challenge. And there it is. Just catching the fingernails of Paola Nizitic. Everything back in place, everything where it needs to be. Play can now resume. China trailing. 2-3, Gong serving Rodriguez. No winner there for Michel Tozzi. Zhang takes one off the block. Gotta level it up. Picks that one off the floor. Fresco. The block contains. 
And then Yuan Jinyue sends through with it again. Nice job defensively, and then Argentina go for the big swing from Paola Nizatic, and it goes against Argentina, who will get this looked at. Well, Nizatic's reaction was a giveaway there. She looked straight up at the chair, expecting that call to go her way. So she clearly saw something. Certainly presence there, but there is no contact. But it almost looks impossible to avoid the fingers, but somehow Paula Mizovic did avoid all the uh, extended digits there. And that's a good call in the chair. Fresco can't find a winner. And uh, Yuan Xin Yue, who will if she's allowed to dominate at the net. Takes that one off the quick set. Almost impossible to defend you on when she's flying through like that. Five out of six points going China's way. Fresco manages to get the South Americans back on track. Zhang picks that one up. Zhu Ting is blocked out of it. Now then, that's a highlight real moment right there. Zhu Ting driving through on the pipe attack. That's a lethal weapon. They got the blockers up there, and I think it might have been Fresco with Lascano alongside her. And they managed to repel Zhu Ting and then come up with an ace. Michel Tozzi. Well, that's back-to-back -back super points for Argentina. The stuff block followed by the ace. Keeps them competitive in this first set. Ding Zha stretching for that one, and Zhang. And a big slap, can't get the better of the block. There's more containing there as Fresco is denied. Zhang will have another go, goes for the push. That's over from Rodriguez. Now there's a whistle that brings an end to that. Somebody strayed a bit too close to the net. Fresco then serving Wang, and the backside goes Yuan, dropping that in, lovely angle she took there. Oh, the running attack works so well, it spreads defenders right across the net, and if you can find an angle like that on the cross court, as long as you keep it in, you've got yourself a winner. So Yuan serving 7 all up. competitive start to this match, Maya went for second touch. That's a floor touch. That'll take China to the first technical timeout. Noses in front.
So after technical timer, Yuan serves Rodriguez one on one. Nizatic is denied, but Yu Ting has come back from Rodriguez, who really is solid in the backcourt for Argentina. That's another one, Rizzo getting that one, and here comes Rodriguez transitioning out brilliantly. Well played, point Argentina again. Well, we're only a third of the way through the first set, but the Argentinians really have raised their game. Can't play the point much better than that. Nizatic, who is a big server, that's coming back. Well, the Paola Nizatic serve has been a weapon. That's another race, and Nizatic is the competition's top acer by far. An easy take for Rodriguez, and uh, China will need to get Nizatic out of there. That'll do it, because she does send a few long. Oh no, it's been called an ace in the chair. That was ruled out on the floor and in upstairs. And Lang Ping didn't bother to challenge that, so she saw it. Back to back aces then for Nisa Titch. Uh, that one is not going to be dropping in, but that's more for the leading ace server in the competition. And they dish out the award for best server. It's going to have to be somebody very special to be ahead of Paolo Nizatic at the end of this one. Rodriguez goes cross court nicely. Oh, confident hitter, Alina Rodriguez. Lascano sends that one in, Argentina working a lead here. Mayer will send that for Rodriguez who gets blocked out this time. I think Yan Ni just decided, you know what, that's enough. The veteran middle blocker just decided Helena Rodriguez is making a nuisance of herself now. Let's shut her down. That's how you do it. Zhu Ting. Serving Rodriguez, near side, Fresco bought the line. Nice, nice take. Shang. <laughs> Takes a touch on the way through. We've seen a lot over the course of the last couple of weeks that when China are being pushed a little bit by an opponent, and Argentina are certainly playing a very solid first set here, they are able to go through the gears whenever they feel like it. Yan Ni with the serve. The block comes in, but Rodriguez is too good for it. Well, she got blocked out of it last time. And she beat the Chinese block this time. And the 22-year-old will serve. Xu Ting picks that up, and that's a bit of trouble there for Ding Zhao, who's managed to just recover the situation, and then Yuan Jin Yue wipes out Paola Nizatic. A big block point for China. Nearly trouble off service reception. In fact, it's Gong that's got it. Gong almost flutes an ace. Fresco with the clever thing. The block was there. So she just lifted it over the block. Especially with backcourt defenders hanging back as well. Michel Tozzi with serve. That'll be around the backside, and that is Yuan Jin Yue ripping one across. Well, these running attacks can be so devastating when executed, and that was executed to perfection. 
Uh, still, China need a point on serve, just to level. Fresco makes sure that doesn't happen there with a wicked cross court. Hitting very well here, Argentina. Still leading at the second technical timeout and hitting well. And if they could have maintained this level of play throughout the competition, they'd have won a lot more than two matches. Been really strong and solid this from Argentina. Limiting the errors, executing efficiently. <laughs> Nizatic with serve. Can Argentina continue to side out here? Can they pinch another point on serve? Well, they've got a chance. May will send it over to Rodriguez, who went for the dink and gone read that all the way. And Xu Ting picked it off. Well, if you're going to be hypercritical, you could say Alina Rodriguez rather telegraphed her intentions there, so the defender was able to make a move. Dingja with serve, and it's an ace. That's a shame for Tatiana Rizzo. Does that leave? He's gone. This is where Argentina really have to just grit their teeth and not let this slide away. They've built some foundations here. Can they add to that? No, oh, it might as well be an ace again, but they've recovered it. But they're chasing, still won't give it up, but it's hoist and hope for Fresco. Where will China go? There's the answer. You cannot be giving freebies to China. It's only taken two poor service receptions, and Argentina have just lost control of the set. side out here just to stay level Rizzo handles that one much better Fresco driving through nearly took uh, Wang Menji off her feet there Not one of these big power hitters for the South Americans delivering here this had to be good well, their lead may have gone but they're still Battling away here, Argentina. 
They'll have to do a better job with their serves. You make it as easy as that. You're going to be taking a lot of quick set inside hits coming back at you. And they are impossible to defend. Yan Ni going to work there. Zhu serves Nizatic. Incoming is Fresco. Picked up. Yan just sends that back over. Oh, it's a bit close. And Zhang pushes it away. And now China do have their lead. Well, so easy. And it's high margins. That's pushed a bit too far by Fresco. And how they pay for it. Rodriguez. No, she's back there. Jan goes cross court when they really needed to. They found an extra gear, China. This was 16 14 Argentina a few moments ago. Six points out of seven to China, and it's a very different look to the set. Rodriguez takes that off the floor. Fresco drives and gets stuffed out of it. Zhang saying, no, 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 no. Well, Hernan Ferraro must have been so pleased with the first two phases of this set. They played near flawless, but when China have gone up another level, Argentina have not been able to go with them. No surprise this. Argentina to suddenly just uh, find themselves wilting in the heat. The surprise was that they were leading China at the second technical timeout. Rodriguez gets wiped out. Now we're seeing the Chinese blocking at its best. And nobody else has found an antidote for that. Yan Ni wiping out Rodriguez, who is wisely taken out of the firing line by Ernan Ferraro there. She needed a breather. Daniela Bullock will come in. It was almost an ace. Fresco's just having to push at that, and uh, she'll get foot faulted for it. Not her fault. Service reception was very, very wobbly at best. Just look at this. There she goes. Foot's right on that line. If it touches the white line, it's a foul. Nine points out of ten going to China. This could be ten out of eleven, and is this blocking is just ridiculous. It's almost as if China were toying with Argentina through the first two phases of this set, just saying, OK, you can have your fun, we'll have a look at you. It was 16-14 Argentina. It is now set point China, and they fluke an ace as well. My goodness me. That was an act of cruelty. <laughs> what a thing to do to a young team. They were on their knees anyway. You send over a fluke ace on set point. Well, they played so well. At 16-14, they were there on merit. And then China just went, you know what? We're just going to take 11 out of the next 12 points. See you in the second set.
Here's the numbers then. Look at all those block points. A couple of aces from Argentina. That's really their best chance. Not much in it in terms of uh, attack hits as well. And China, you can fault them once. One opponent error. That's it. Juting to get this second set underway. Rodriguez is back in, but the blocking hasn't gone anywhere, has it? Well, Alina Rodriguez has been hitting so well, and now suddenly she's facing the best blocking in the world. And that's a different story. That's Gong right alongside Yan. Gong will claim that one. picks that up and then they managed to rub it off the block far side nicely played by Zhang on that far side uh, Rodriguez doing well to keep it alive but an easy put away rubbing it off of Victoria Mayer there China won 11 out of 12 points at the end of that first set they put the first two on the board here it might be three as Rodriguez gets blocked Rodriguez will have another go and gets through Oh, she deserved that. She's working hard. She's not letting her head drop here, Alina Rodriguez. The first one came back. The second one just had a bit too much, even for Yan Ni. And that ball was travelling. A much needed point for Argentina. Mayer will serve. Gong will hit that, and that'll get picked up. Rodriguez will have to go again. Blocked out of it again. Far side, Fresco goes cross court. up by Mayer from the uh, Gong cross court. Well, an even better one from Wang there. That was outrageous. And Argentina still in this rally. Rodriguez has got some work to do there. Well, just contain here, China. Oh, that's a shame. Miscommunication between setter and attacker. Two youngsters with some wonderful work defensively again from China. But an 18-year-old setter and a 20-year-old middle just weren't quite on the same page going up against the reigning Olympic champions. Rodriguez takes that. Fresco with some work to do. Can't quite get it past the block. And then Yuan Jinyue says, let's see you bring that one back. Well, she was halfway to the roof when she took this one, Yuan. 
Look how high she is. Yeah. their successes, Fresco and Rodriguez in particular. Nizatic has been uh, forced into defensive duty a lot of the time. That's a good serve. And that's a floor touch. I wonder if they'll challenge that. Yeah, too good again from Fresco. to the net from Michel Tozzi. One of their better servers. So Zhang, that's a beauty. Really nice take from Nizatic that. Beating, goes for the sneaky dink. And there was absolutely no way anybody could get that. Rizzo, the libero, who was covering the cross court, was absolutely frozen out of this. Just a huge gap when the third blocker went over there. And Mayer, the only player that could even attempt to dig at that, couldn't get there. And there's another send back from Yuan Jingyue. That takes China to the first technical timeout. Stays on serve. Mizutic picks that up really nicely. They'll send it far side. Nothing doing there for Rodriguez. And a breakdown again. As they are just at full stretch. Looking bleak this for Argentina. Wholesale changes coming in for Argentina. And an uh, introduction for the backup setter Azul Benitez, along with Sol Piccolo. And a switch up at Libero with uh, young Valentina Gonzalez coming in as well. And that's a big change of their on court personnel. Nizatic drives one down the line beautifully. Been restricted with her ability to go aggressive here. But when she's been given an opportunity, she's threaded the needle perfectly there, Paola Nizatic. Nailed that one. The backside attack. 
They may see that a hundred times in this match and they won't be able to stop it once, Argentina, not when it's executed at that level. Everybody knows it's coming. You can't stop it. Off she goes again. If you aren't back at the service line. Nicely done by Nizatic, far side. That was a sizzler, it really was. That was a wonderful rescue as well from Gonzalez. What a shame. Oh. Oh, hold herself at this one, the little Libero, didn't she? Look at that. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Deserve better than that. And that one wasn't coming back, was it? Let's count out. Well, they've steadied the ship again here, Argentina, but a lot of damage to repair. Chasing three points normally, not exactly a crisis, but chasing points against China. Now nah, that's tough. They might be chasing some more here, and Zhu Ting misses. Well, now then, that's a surprise. Let's just tighten things up a little bit here. Nobody is flawless, not even Zhu Ting. Rodriguez stays on serve, it's really well handled. And there's the inevitable consequence. Well, if you take service reception as good as this, Ding Zha will always look for the middle. So where are you? Whether it's around the backside on the running attack or straight down the gut. Those middle blockers will feed off those Ding Zha quick sets all match long. Zhu Ting. Serves an ace. That needs a ditch. Should be disappointed with that one. And Wang picks that one up from Piccolo. Oh. Driven ruthlessly down the line. Oh, this was a big hit. This really was a big hit. Now the backside. And Gong just says, look, I know I've got blockers there. I know I've got a defender in the backcourt, but I'm taking this one. And she took it to the house. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
And there's another miscue from Nizatic. Another race then. From Yan Ni of all people. We are at the second technical timeout. So Jan will be looking for another one, and she's got one. Back-to-back -back aces either side of the timeout. Oh, if Jan starts throwing aces down, you really have collapsed in a heap. That was a poor take from Rizzo. Just like the earlier one from Nizatic. Those are freebies. Much better take this time. Fresco will send that one deep. I see another switch up here, I think. Bulaich will come back in. And uh, Agostina Soria, another youngster, is looking to come on here. If this substitution is permitted, which it is, she'll drop back into the service position with uh, Rodriguez taking a breather. So that's all his subs. For this set. China, of course, under Lang Ping. Minimal use of substitutions. been a bit of a runaway train this isn't it this second set well now then there's a collector's item that's one of those Lang Ping is going to put a ring round we need to look at this one what happened here well nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that and uh, Ding and Yuan not on the same page it's a collector's item Bulaich had all the time in the world to set that one up. Or when she pulled the trigger, there was only one thing in her mind. Wipe out the cross-court defender. Nicely done. That's enough for Lang Ping. I mean, that error will have really annoyed Lang Ping. And when she sees that following up, it's no surprise that she'll call a timeout. Beautiful swing there from Bulaich. Michelle Tozzi. Plenty of blockers there. And it was the young woman in the middle that Zhang couldn't get through. Bing sends that on its way and no breakdown of communication there between. Uh, 
There's too many of those now. And they're coming from all over as well. Bullite joining Nizatic and Rizzo in uh, big, big errors on service reception. And there's a stuck block. Bullite taken out. Aces and blocks just raining down on Argentina here in this second set. Yuan will claim another one. And then Ferraro will very wisely call a halt to this one. Bullock's made a mess of that one as well. It's just to hoist it up in the air and see what happens. Moment. <laughs> what happens is Yuan Jin Yue will demolish it. Well, I think they're a little bit embarrassed still, Ding and Yuan, that they had that breakdown earlier. And they're just trying to send a message to Lang Ping. It's okay. We know what we're doing. Wow, that was a big one. Uh oh. Trouble there for Mayer. Done really well. Fresco can't find a winner out of it. Zhang can't find a winner there. Ding will go backside and Yuan will overhit this one. She'll say it took a touch. The look on Langping's face there on the bench was just to say. You better be right. I'm trusting you. That took a touch. You better be right. against Argentina for whom everything seems to be uh, pushing water uphill at the moment Gong sends that one in Sorry has handled that nicely backside it goes for Fresco picked up by Zhu Ting backside to Gong easy as you like they're out of answers Argentina and they're almost out of gas. It's not a great take either from Bulaich. It's just going to be pushed by Zhu Ting. Soria has done well to get that. It was a really clever push. Bulaich looked for the dink there. And Zhang will rip it cross court to take China to a merciless set point. Gong then, looking to wrap up this second set, which is just a formality. Bullight will get a second bite at this. And they blocked it beautifully again. How many block points did they have in that second set? Well, we'll get the answer in a couple of minutes. That was absolute destruction and devastation from China. Well, once they've got Argentina's measure, they've just been pulling further and further away, and the South Americans are in some disarray here. China now just one set 
from an 11th straight victory. And a ninth in straight sets. Just four block points. It felt to Argentina, I think, like a lot, lot more. Four aces as well as Argentina's service reception started to unravel. 15, 11 attack points. It's not about errors. It's just the level that China are playing at. A very high level indeed now. No room for a slip here. So one set from wrapping this up then, China and less Argentina. I've got something very special left in the tank. And I don't think too many are expecting that scenario to play out. Victoria Mayer then to get what should be the final set underway. Too hot again. It's just a wrecking ball they brought in at the end of that first set, wasn't it? When they just turned up the intensity. Yao Di dishing it out in place of Ding Zha. Very decent setter in her own right, Yao Di. That's a nice backside set there from the youngster to bring Alina Rodriguez into play. Lovely angle taken, really nice work that. Super stuff from Gong. Quality of that execution. Just superb. Look at the placement. Everything about that absolutely spot on. From Gong, Rodriguez takes that. Mizetic has conjured up a winner. Deservedly so as well. Nice hit that. Nice block there. And Fresco wanted to celebrate and realised it's still in play. Now they can celebrate. A misfire from Gong. Ooh, she almost dropped one on the line there, Agnes Michel Tozzi, with one that looked like it was sailing very long, then suddenly slammed the brakes on. That was close. Mayer 
goes for the quick inside set, and Los Cano can't find a winner out of that. And it's dropped as everybody stands and watches. That's a shame. There's another little mental breakdown here for the young Argentinians. But any self-belief they may have had has long been just rubbed out of them. Uh, Fresco finds a way to find a winner. Nice hit from Fresco. Oh. Oh. Watch out. Incoming. Oh, look at this. Yao Di has been watching from the sidelines. Now Ding Zha has been laying them up nicely for Yuan Xinyue on the running attack. So she's obviously decided, let's carry on. Serve up a few more of those. Lascano served up an error there. But uh, Argentina haven't yet paid for it. They still haven't. Fresco with the rescue there. Just a push and hope for Nizatic. Zhu Ting, no winner there. Duel at the net. Zhu Ting wins that. Back it comes. Yao Di goes backside. Fresco picks it up. Nizatic blocked out of it. Oh, that's really tough. Really tough on Julieta Lazcano, who raced round the backside. The running attack should work, but it's Zhu Ting that you're trying to deal with. And she read it, and she got terrific presence at the net there. Just to take that one out. So China edging in front early. Second touch doesn't work. Right idea. They'll try the backside attack again, and Zhu Ting's there again, and uh, that's two for two. Zhu Ting defending the running attack. Well, as Kano needed, in hindsight, it's easy to say this, needed to find a much tighter angle on the cross court. Well, Zhu Ting had everything covered there. Yuan then floats one into the net. There's a sizzler from Nizatic that just had a bit too much sizzle on it. That'll take China to the first technical timeout. Two sets to the good with the lead. And there's an air of inevitability about this one. So off to timeout. China will serve, and another block will come in. And the antenna came into play as well before the block. The moment that ball touches the antenna, that is dead. That's Lascano knocked out of the lineup. Another youngster, 17 year old Bianca Fariel, gets a chance to play against. The reigning Olympic champions. Rodriguez is blocked out of it, and look where that's dropped. That could have gone anywhere. But right, it's found the back corner, just hanging in the air there. Yet another block point. Yan Ni again watches that 
parabola and dropping into the corner perfectly. Nizatic handles that. Rodriguez blocked out of it again. Rescued in the backcourt by Nizatic. Zhang sends that over. Nothing there for Argentina. Backside. Good enough for Gong. Who spins round on the floor. But not before the point is secured. It's not the best of landings from Gong. You don't get points for artistic merit in this sport. You get points for doing what Gong just did then. Smacking down a winner. Timeout. Rodriguez denied. May will send it back for Rodriguez to have another go, and uh, that's a shame. No, a shame. Really jammed up there, Alina Rodriguez as well. Absolutely nowhere to play, and uh, been trying to force it. She's just contacted the net as well. Rizzo just has to put that one up in the air. This should come back with interest. Well, Argentina have tried a couple of these uh, moon balls. You tend not to uh, offer those up to China. You give China all that time to just get set. You are going to get played out of it. Soria replaces Rodriguez, who needs another step away from the firing line sorry about suffers the same fate uh, it's just about everybody else that's been trying to swing on these chinese blockers setting it up nicely with a fake everything in place but just no way through there's another one well, the blocks are just raining down now as Fresco gets taken out by Yang Ni. And that one drops as well. And Argentina just collapsing in a heap here as we get to the second technical timeout. Just look at that. Absolute rout now. And it's blocking that has destroyed Argentina as much as anything. 14 of them now. Yan with four. Gong, Yuan, Zhu. Three each. Zhang also has a block. Soria gets blocked out by Yan. There's just absolutely no way through now. Rodriguez, who must have thought she was done, been slung back in there. Soria's cameo was brief. Blocked out. Two in a row. 
Rodriguez handles that one. Yeah, they don't take the block on this time. Fresco checked. And go backside, and there's another one. Gong finding that. Have to go back a long way to find the last time. Argentina put a point on the board. This has been brutal. Absolutely brutal. From 7 5 to 18 5. 19 5. Absolutely devastating this from China. Now it's Fresco's turn to check out Piccolo in. Can anybody get through this block? Finally, finally, side out Argentina after 12 points in a row against them. And a nice, confident cross court, considering the circumstances that they must be just thinking about it every time they go to swing. Argentina, that's a nice serve there. Ju just has to hoist that back over. Rodriguez will go again. The blocks contained it. No containing that cross court from Zhu Ting. What an angle. Well, this match started promisingly for China, who will make a double substitution with Liu Xiaotong coming in, along with the youngster Li Ying Ying, the teenager. All smiles for Liu Xiaotong, who hasn't seen a lot of action here. Not an Olympic gold medalist to come off the bench and a World Cup winner as well. And young Li Ying Ying. So Lang Ping will give a few points to uh, one of her great servants here. Liu Xiaotong with the big wind up there. Rodriguez with an absolutely wicked cross court. It's a nice hit. And she's had her moments. Little Ozul Benitez will come in for Victoria Mayer. Double figures for Rodriguez in this match. And she'll claim a block point there as well. Well, Rodriguez and Fresco have been the two brightest lights for Argentina. No question about that. And there's a point that's going to go for a carry against China. A glare from the coach on the sideline. But there is absolutely no danger whatsoever of Argentina coming back into this. Backside it goes. Gong dispatches side out. Four points from making it ten in a row, and we're going to see another new face. Zheng Yi Jin will come in as Yan Ni bows out with a smile. Job done for Yan. Wow, what a performance from her. Just the five blocks then. Piccolo denied Liu picking that one up and then Li Ying Ying ripping it through the 19 year old who they think is going to be a real star ripping that one through well this one's nearly done Piccolo will have another go that take a touch? Yep. Slide out. Well, at least they've avoided the uh, the ignominy of a single-digit score. They've got it to ten. Rodriguez with serve. Yuan Jinyue off the quick set. 
yet another one. Nearly there now, then. And I think we're going to see another new face, Liu Yan Han. As Gong checks out. Very popular player, Liu. Nice to see Lang Ping allowing some of her squad players who've had to show a lot of patience to give them a bit of a workout. And <laughs> well, that's how you come off the bench, isn't it? Liu serves up an ace. Um, Ling Lin Lee, the libero, will also come in for the last point. As Wang Yuan Yuan, the middle blocker, comes in as well. This to make it a perfect 11 out of 11. Benitez will hang that up there for Nizatic. This could be it. Li Ying Ying can't find it there, though. Benitez will bring in Rodriguez, who takes a touch. It remains match point. Michel Tozzi with serve. Backside and into the net. Into the net from Wang Yuan Yuan. Who had the moment there of being able to say, I hit the winning point in the last match in the World Cup. But she just caught nothing but nylon. So Michel Tozzi will stay there. The serve is picked up. Li Ying Ying rubs one off the block, and there it is. Played 11. 1-11. China, queens of the world. Hard to believe that if you look back about an hour, Argentina were leading 16-14 at the second technical timeout and playing really well. Then suddenly, China just shrugged their shoulders and said, here we go. And they just blew them off the court. Jenny Langping would have wanted nothing less, would have expected nothing less. Not quite perfect, because they did drop three sets, two to Brazil and one to the Netherlands. But that's as close at this level of competition as you'll get to perfection, surely. China, in a league of their own. Eleven wins in the World Cup, nine of them in straight sets. That is a formidable squad that Jenny Langping has put together here. Well, they've defended their World Cup trophy. Will they be successfully defending their Olympic gold medal as well in less than a year's time in Japan? It's going to take a very special team to stop this group. This is a...